hello welcome to my channel uh, I hope you're doing well while you're watching my video today uh, so today I'm gonna share with you a few ideas that I did for my daughter's birthday the cupcakes I will share with you the next video so I'm gonna share with you some savory those ones the prawns and a little bit uh, different things that I did for my daughter's birthday very easy to do and they're really delicious and they don't take that long I just uh, did those in the same day of the birthday party so I have here strawberries dipped in chocolate so I'm just gonna go through with them quickly so first thing I did I washed the strawberry very well and I dried them with the paper towel and I have here white chocolate that I melted in the microwave I have some sprinkles and the color purple and pink so you use the colors as I said before in my videos uh, accordingly to the theme that you're going with so I'm using purple and pink so so I just took the strawberries and I dipped them in the chocolate I didn't dip them all the way through so I left a little bit of the red showing of the strawberries and then I just gonna put sprinkles all over them I did the different things to them so I put like one all sprinkles one without sprinkles um, I put some of them in a the glitter some of them without so different different ones I did different things so it depends what you want to do it can be different uh, designs so very easy to do I just left them in the grease paper to dry a little bit and then put them in the fridge and then and I presented them in the paper like uh, uh, I bought from Aliexpress they were like uh, paper candy paper or something like that so you put them inside and they look uh, cute like that so so here I added a little bit of pink as well so just a little bit and then I'm just gonna twirl it around <laughs> So as I said, I did I did those things uh, in the birthday party in the morning. Uh, so I did I did them like quickly, quickly. So I didn't like uh, show everything on the video, but you get the idea. Like you can be creative and do whatever you want. This is like literally the the, the basic thing you do, and then the rest is up to you. Just go with the color. If the color goes, then just um, because I want it like swirl of colors on the with the white chocolate so that's it so for the savory one I used the uh, uh, mini mozzarella and I have here taiga prawns uh, cooked I cooked them before on the garlic and olive oil and I have olives and also I have garlic here uh, sorry uh, olive <laughs> olive oil pepper and salt and I have those uh, uh, wooden scoops skews or something I don't know what it's called but they're wooden so I got those from Morocco actually they have like this pearl design on them in the, in the bottom but you can use the simple ones as you can see so what I did is I took a prawn and put the one olive in the middle of it and then put them uh, through the skew and then put some mozzarella mini mozzarella on top as you can see so the prawns as I said I cooked them before on the little bit of olive oil and garlic So just continue with them until you finish the amount you have so in the end I'm just gonna add a little bit of the olive oil and a little bit of uh, pepper and salt on top of the prawns and I have uh, a sauce in the middle uh, I just added like mm, ketchup and mayonnaise together and there you have it a very easy uh, dish or for parties or for starter or anything like that and it's really delicious and it looks elegant as well uh, for those I have those puff pastry that I bought from 
uh, waitress. Uh, I have pesto, tomato pesto. So I just take a little bit of the tomato pesto on the bottom. And I'm gonna add on top of it uh, a little bit of cream cheese. The cream cheese I used, uh, any cream cheese, you can use any cream cheese. Uh, you can add some spicy to it. I put just a little bit of uh, uh, pepper and a little bit of spices. So I'm just gonna put a little bit on top of the pesto. You don't have to use the tomato pesto, you can use any other pesto you like. And on the top of that, I'm just gonna add the caramelized onion that I uh, I made before and uh, I, had a vi I have a video of it if you want to see it. So just put a little bit on top. And that's it really, it's very easy. It doesn't take that long. And it tastes nice and also they like easy to handle for especially if you're doing a kids party or something like that. Uh, the cupcake video is gonna be uh, next time it's going to be passion fruit cupcakes so I hope you like this video thank you very much for watching and I will see you again very soon thank you